you know, one of my favorite parts about fall camp is seeing which freshmen have made the biggest strides since the spring. You know, who looks the part, who could pop for the Razorbacks as a youngster. It's tough to do in the SEC, honestly. I mean, you see it at skill positions on offense, running back, wide receiver from time to time. Uh, but honestly, it's a defensive player that's really intriguing to me right now. Arkansas has got a lot of depth and experience at defensive back. Kind of feels to me like Selman Bridges is one that we might want to keep an eye on. I mean, we're talking about a guy who was a top 100 prospect in his class. He had offers from all the heavy hitters. That includes Alabama and the likes. I don't know, man. It's a guy who's got great positional size at six foot two, uh, a long six foot two. He really drew some nice praise today and got himself a little NFL comp too from Arkansas secondary coach Darren Wilson. Um, you think a seven long guy that could run similar to a team in uh, what the NFC West? How they like they call in Seattle, right? He looked like one of those guys. Um, as you look at Selman, when you have length and you can run, they got sometimes you could play low hip, meaning a little bit under receiver, and you're still covering the receiver up, right? It makes it hard on quarterbacks because they can't see the receiver, right? And uh, Selman, I always tell him, man, I'm on you a lot, but just remember Jalen Braxton was in his position last year, and he continued to climb and trust the process, right? And when you trust the process, you're going to reach the standards. Yeah, I absolutely love Darren Wilson planting that seed to the Seahawks early. I mean, I don't know, time will tell if Selman Bridges will become the next uh, Richard Sherman or not. It's got to be pretty cool for him to hear that, though, as a youngster coming from his position coach. It's risky, right, to have a true freshman in your secondary uh, because it's the last line of defense. I mean, there, there's nobody to back you up. So if you make a mistake and you get burned, uh, boom, it's over the top and it's six for the other team. But Arkansas has had a recent track record of success doing exactly that. I mean, you think back to a couple years ago with Quincy McAdoo when he burst onto the scene. That was a position change from receiver to corner, uh, and he was dynamite as a true freshman. Uh, and then, like Wilson mentioned, Jalen Braxton, he was in those exact same shoes that Bridges finds himself in. Uh, just a year ago, he emerged, became a starting corner, and now he's going to be the lockdown guy for the Razorbacks this year. From the sounds of it, uh, Braxton's kind of taking Bridges under his wing, and I think that's only going to be something that benefits him moving forward. Yeah, so, I mean, he's been doing real good, like, every day. Like, in the spring, it was, he just he was just getting here, getting his feet wet, and I used to always tell him just have some confidence. Like, now you can tell he's on the field with, with way more confidence, and when you have that confidence, you're going to be able to play way better, and he's been playing real good. So I, I do think Seven will get on the field this year if he continues to do what he's doing.